Hello, my name is Michael Dugan, and this is the third installment of my Unit 3 review videos. Right now, I'm solving problem 4C, which is to find a fourth degree polynomial with the roots 3, 2, and 7 minus 4 radical 2. So, as you can see, it's a fourth degree polynomial, but we, we were only given three roots. This is because there is a fourth root that we are provided with the information of 7 minus 4 radical 2. Whenever you're given a radical or an i as a root, you also have to constitute its opposite. The opposite of 7 minus 4 radical 2 is 7 plus 4 radical 2. So that gives us 1, 2, 3, 4 roots. So now we can begin on the equation that we use in order to put these roots into equations or expressions. So what we use is x squared plus the sum of our roots times x, no, sorry, minus the sum of our roots times x, plus the product of our roots. So, now we group roots together and plug them into this formula that we created. So, in order to select which roots we're pairing together, I like to choose the numbers that are the most similar. 3 and 2 are both positive integers, so I'm choosing them, and 7 minus 4 radical 2 and 7 plus 4 radical 2 both contain a radical so those should be grouped together so for simplicity's sake i'll use our easier numbers first x squared minus the sum of 3 and 2 is 5 so that's 5x and the product of 3 and 2 is 6 so we have x squared minus 5x plus 6. next it gets a little bit trickier we still start out with x squared minus now the sum of these two, I'll start with the whole number. 7 and 7 is 14. And as you can see, the radicals cancel out. We have a negative and a positive of the same number, so it ends up being just 14x. Plus, now to find the um, product, we have to FOIL. So 7 minus 4 radical 2 and 7 plus 4 radical 2. 7 times 7 is 49 negative or er, 7 times positive 4 radical 2 is 28 radical 2 negative 4 radical 2 times 7 is negative 28 radical 2 and negative radical negative 4 radical 2 and positive 4 radical 2 so negative 4 and positive 4 that's negative 16 radical 2 and radical 2 is positive 2 negative 4 16 times radical 2 is minus 32 as you can see, we have a positive and negative of the same number. These two cancel out. We get 49 minus 32, which is 17. Now, the final step, and I'll need my calculator for this, to solve is to FOIL these final two expressions to figure out our fourth degree polynomial and set it equal to y. So, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative 14x is negative 14x cubed. x squared times 17 is 17x squared. Next, negative 5x and negative 14x is, oh, oops, sorry, I skipped. Negative 5x and x squared is negative 5x cubed. Negative 5x and negative 14x is 70x. And negative 5x and 17, 5 times 17 is 85. Negative 5 times 17, that's negative 85. Of course, the 70x is 70x squared. This is 85x. Finally, 6 and x squared gives us plus 6x squared. 6 and negative 14x, 6 times 14 is 84. So that's minus 84x. And 6 times 17 is is 102. So the final step of solving this problem is to combine like terms. So I ended up on a slant, my screen's a little bit low. Um, but x, x um, to the power of 4 remains the same. There's no more of that. x cubed, we have 1, 2. So 14 and negative 5, negative 14, negative 5, that's negative 19x cubed. Now we have to circle, I'm gonna circle our squares. So we have two positives and 
Ooh, actually, I believe all of our numbers end up being positive. So that's 17 plus 70 plus 6, which is 93. We get plus 93x squared. Now I like to... We can figure out our last two. We have two negative x's, so that's 84 plus 85, which is 169. That's minus 169x squared. Or no, ne minus just p negative 169. That eliminates these two. And then finally, we have just 102 plus 102. So our final answer is y equals x to the fourth minus 19x cubed plus 93x squared minus 16, oops, sorry, minus 169x plus 102. And that is our final fourth degree polynomial.